Good morning, children. Welcome back to the social session. Children, yesterday we have started a new lesson, Indian Constitution, and uh, we have discussed about the background of the making of Indian Constitution. What problems are being faced under the colonial rule? What is a constitution? And uh, what is the need of a constitution for the country? So we have seen the national leaders have different opinion and how the constitution of India should be. But two things were uh, very common that is uh, equality in front of the law for everybody. Everybody will be treated as a equal in front of the law. And second thing is uh, the government would conduct the elections uh, uh, on the principle of universal adult franchise. That means irrespective of the caste, gender and uh, irrespective of the economic status, everyone in the country will be given the right to vote. These were the two important things which we have seen yesterday. And next, uh, uh, before the original constitution was drafted, was written, there were many constitutions. Uh, there is another constitution which has been drafted by the uh, Congress leaders like uh, Motilal Nehru. So it was in 1928, well, in uh, very early before the uh, independence. It was during the uh, Karachi session that uh, Indian National Congress has passed a draft constitution. And this draft constitution uh, has mentioned about the universal primary education as well as the universal adult franchise. These are the two things which, ha which are even present in the modern constitution also in the uh, constitution which has come into enforcement also these two were present. And first of all, uh, these people who got elected to the constituent assembly got inspired by the struggle waged by the different kinds of people uh, and their aspiration for a better world to live uh, for tomorrow. They knew that. Uh, this was uh, their uh, sacred duty, a very important duty to help to build the India uh, in the modern times to realize their aspirations. And they were also deeply influenced uh, by the thoughts of Mahatma Gandhi and other national leaders. Uh, secondly, many of our leaders are uh, inspired by the ideals of the French Revolution. The French Revolution ideals are uh, equality, fraternity and liberty. Liberty is nothing but freedom. Okay, equality is treating everybody equally and fraternity is the brotherlyhood. These are the three important ideals of the French Revolution even. These national leaders got uh, uh, influenced or inspired from this uh, French Revolution. The practice of parliamentary democracy in Britain also they got inspired by and uh, Bill of Rights uh, which has been passed in the independence of uh, USA also they got inspired by the socialistic revolution in Russia was all, and uh, China also inspired many Indian leaders. So, we keeping all these things uh, in our mind, they have shaped the uh, social system and economic equality uh, present in the uh, countries was taken into consideration and they prepared a draft uh, constitution. All these factors influenced in the making of the Indian constitution. Moreover, the British too had uh, introduced some basic institutions, uh, uh, democratic institutions were introduced uh, in India for a democratic rule. And however, only certain categories of people uh, were uh, given the right to vote in their democratic institutions. British had introduced very weak legislature. Elections were held in 1937-1946 uh, and provincial legislatures and ministries were also got elected in British India. Uh, these were not fully democratic governments, but the Indians have gained the experience of working in a democratic uh, setup. So, they proved to be very useful for the functioning of the India in the future and uh, to set up our own institutions and working in them. That, that is why the Indian uh, constitution also had adopted many institutional uh, details and procedures from the colonial laws. That is from the Government of India Act 1935. Much of the constitution has been taken, the democratic setup and the institutional working mechanism. Coming to the Constituent Assembly children, the constitution was drafted by an uh, committee, by an assembly of uh, drafted uh, uh, elected representatives called uh, uh, Constituent Assembly. Elections to this Constituent Assembly got uh, uh, held in 1946. So, Constituent Assembly in short is called as a CA, CA. it is called as CA, Constituent uh, Assembly. So, its uh, first meeting was held in uh, July 1946. Uh, and in December 1946, uh, with the partition of the country uh, in August 1947, even Constituent Assembly also got uh, uh, partitioned as a Pakistan Constituent Assembly and uh, Indian Constituent uh, Assembly. And uh, the Indian Constituent Assembly consists of uh, uh, people like B.R. Ambedkar, Rajagopalachari and uh, Babu Rajendra Prasad 
and uh, all together all together it had 299 members and the assembly adapted the constitution on 26th uh, november 1949 so the draft constitution was adopted on 26th november 1949 and this 26th november we consider it as a constitution day it is called as constitution day 26th november 1949 whereas the constitution has come into enforcement on 26th january 1950 these are two dates you should not get uh, uh, confused children one is 26th november this is uh, the constituent assembly adopted the constitution and this is the date of enforcement from which day the implementation got started was 26th january we call this day as a republic day republic day every year we celebrate republic day on 26th january so that is the day when constitution has come into enforcement so the members of the constituent assembly were elected mainly by the members of the existing provincial uh, legislatures at the state from the uh, british rule and some of the members were even nominated by the princely states uh, kings and uh, queens uh, uh, ruling over some parts of the country its members came from all the regions of the country so the assembly was dominated by the uh, members of the indian national congress because majority of them were from the congress and there were very few members from the other parties like dr b r ambedkar and even though most members were uh, from same party most of them held very different views on uh, most of the issues there were very few women also present in this uh, uh, constituent assembly just about 15 members were there and out of them durga bai deshmukh was uh, one among them so what are the basic principles of the indian constitution we will see in the next class children until then take care thank you